hey my beauties welcome back and if you guys are new here welcome to my channel so i posted on my instagram stories that i was doing a ulta haul i did stop into ulta yesterday when i got off of work because i just felt like going inside of ulta i wanted to see if they had the new morphe collection and of course they did not so i did end up ordering um two of the products from the new morphe collection on the website so that should be here soon but i'm going to try those products out in a video I do have my ulta bag right here i'm going to show you guys everything that i got i spent some coins but i feel like i don't have a lot of stuff like i just felt like everything was expensive for no reason but i spent a lot okay so we gonna get into this haul and i'm gonna show y'all what i got so i did pick up this real techniques makeup brush this is the genuine glow for powder bronzer and highlighter brush and this is from the female collective line um this is supposed to be limited edition but i have a strong feeling that these brushes are going to be at tj maxx and marshall's really soon so i have not opened this yet really like how thick this brush is and like it says you can use it for bronzer and highlight and contour and stuff like that so i'm going to use this for bronzer i think this would be really nice for like my forehead or something did pick up another brush this is the Real Techniques Confident Contour, and this is for blush and contour makeup. And it does have a little saying on it. It says, creating my own story. And this one has filling all my feelings. So these brushes are really cute. I think it's more stuff that came in with this line. So I think I remember when this launched. This is a nice brush. Ooh. This would be good for like all over powder, definitely for bronzing. Okay, I love Real Techniques brushes. Like they do such a good job. Pick up the Filling Bubbly Palette. And I did not need this palette, but oh my God, it's just swatched so nice inside the store. So I went ahead and I picked it up. It's a really nice like champagne palette. Really, really pretty. Those are uh oh. Those are the colors right there. Um, I will swatch a few. Really, really pretty. And I can use this palette, ooh, as an eyeshadow palette, as a face palette, because I'm pretty sure some of these colors in here I can use as an highlighter. And that brown is really nice. So I did pick up some eyelashes from Kiss. And not that I needed any more lashes, but I just really wanted to try these. These are the Lash Couture Masterpiece One of a Kind Lux Lash. And I got two pairs. And these are the Hot Couture. Um, these are Pret a Porter. I really do like these. I can't wait to try these on. I really like these. These are a tad bit darker than these. So I do think the packaging is a bit much. Like I don't need all that packaging. But I thought those were really nice. Um, okay. So I'm excited about this. This is the Morphe Times. Um, I want to say her name is Nyan. I, I'm, I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. But this is the Beyond Bold Lipstick Trio. I wanted that yellow lipstick. Like, it's very rare that you see brands do other colors. Like, I just feel like brands always do, like, the reds, mauves, brown, and nude colors. Like, we have those. Give us some. It's other colors in a rainbow. So, I've been wanting a yellow lipstick for the longest. I have not opened this yet. I swatched this a little bit in the store. Um... But I haven't swatched when I got home. But I do own Morphe lipsticks. And I really do like them. And I love their packaging. So let's get into these colors. So the first shade is called. Ayan. Ayan. I'm not really sure. But this is like a really cute. Like purple. Oh my god. The. The color of this is on the tip of my tongue i can't really 
oh my god <laughs> it looks pink in the camera but it's really not that pink it's not this pink you guys it, it pulls more like purple i can't i can't even spit the color out what i what i want to say okay this color is zuri this one is definitely purple this one is zuri and these are matte you guys and then the last one which is the yellow um lipstick which i'm super excited for oh girl i just got so many ideas that i want to do with this color and that's the color right there so pretty like that's gonna look so bomb in the summertime with a brown lip liner and like a gloss and it just depends on how you apply it if you like blot it all over your lips it's gonna look good so um i really really like that shade already i haven't even tried it yet but i already know that I'm gonna like it the next thing I got is another blush from elf and I already own one of these putty blushes the color that I have already is more so like a deep red color this one kind of pulls like that terracotta brown color like orangey color it is not that orangey in person it's more like brown this is really pretty. I wonder why I didn't pick this up the first time. That's pretty. I do have on a cream blush today, you guys. And I do like the way it looks. I did set it with a um like a powdered a blush. The a powdered blush instead of cream. I can't get my words out today. But yeah, that's the color right there. That's going to be so pretty with my bronzer. Oh yeah, I can't wait to dive into that. Okay, I did pick up the Ulta Beauty Precision Foundation Brush. And I think I own one um, Ulta Brush. Um, I think I own the bronzer brush. But I don't have this one. And I had to get it. You guys, this type of brush any brush that is angled like this you need to have it in your collection you can do so many things with this brush you can push in your cream products you can buff in your um cream bronzer you can buff in your foundation you can put your setting powder on i just love these brushes that slant like this because i can just really push that product in i picked up this la girl perfect precision eyeliner i thought this was a lip liner but it's not it's in the color dark brown so i mean i can use it as a, a lip liner but it's pretty dark that is pretty dark so i thought this was a lip liner but i mean I'm probably going to use it for my eyebrows because it feels pretty good, but that is really dark. And then I did pick up two lip liners from the NYX um, Line Loud Lip Pencils. These are their new lip pencils, and I wanted to get the I wanted to get the white lip pencil, but I don't know why I didn't get it, but I'm probably going to get it next time. I did go ahead and take the uh, plastic off just to save some time and I messed up my red pencil this one is in rebel what was it called rebel red I feel like it's hard oh this feels so good they're really nice and creamy I feel like it's hard to find a red lip pencil because some of them can like pull kind of orange and I just want like a basic red lip liner I mean this looks red it looks a little orangey red though so I'm going to have to try that on my lips. And then I got a brown lip liner. This is in the color Rebel Kind. And I always look forward to NYX brown lip liners because they're always good. Look at that. That's NYX right there. Definitely will be trying these out really soon, especially this brown one. So I did pick up two lipsticks from Milani. So I am finally trying the 
color fetish matte lipsticks and i didn't really like the packaging i don't know why i thought the i didn't think the packaging was cute but it's kind of growing on me i think it's okay Ooh, look at that color i know some of you all have this already but that is beautiful wow is this matte i thought these were matte yeah matte that looks a little like semi matte so this is a nice nude shade it looks a little pinky i don't really like those nudes anymore yeah it has like that pinky nude undertone so We'll see if I really grab this or not. We're almost done. The last three products I got are some lips, lip glosses. I was going to say lipsticks. But these are some lip glosses. And these are from Morphe. And these are their Make It Big lip glosses. And I got three shades. So this color is called Big Bang Glow. And when I seen this color, I'm like, I got to get it. I was expecting this to be like... The color of the packaging but it's not it's a tad bit different but you guys this color is so pretty do not sleep on morphe lip glosses they have some really nice lip glosses this is my first time trying the um the big make it big lip glosses oh my god this color i love lilac lip glosses it has like that lilac milky nude type of gloss so pretty this one is called showy nude i was kind of disappointed with this one because i was expecting once again the packaging doesn't go with the color but this one is called showy nude it's still pretty i think this was described as a yellow tone brown or something like that but it kind of looks like honey waffles from fenty to be honest like a caramel type of nude and then the last color that I got is big sweet tea I do own sweet tea like um, the gloss I own sweetest tea I own the lipsticks so I have all of those but I didn't have this one and I did swatch this in a store so this one is more of a deeper brown it looks the same as showy nude to be honest with you they look the same they do look the same but big um big sweet tea is a shade darker than showy nude that's they should have made this lighter i don't know what the deal was but they do look alike. So that's everything that I got from Ulta. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you have any of these items that I share with you guys today. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, and share. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.